it's Abby, and I finally brought over some of my toy shelf decorations. I know it's same old, same old, but definitely looks better with some decorations, right? And of course, we can't forget Grandpa. Anyway, on to today's main topic. I have four sets, well, hopefully four sets, of Sanrio figures and miniatures here. Some are new. That The Kaitai Fantasy is pretty new. That's very new. That I got on sale at the Sanrio outlet, and this one I found on Amazon for super cheap. I pulled everything out, we are thumbnail ready. The ones at the bottom, the Sanrio characters crystal caught, I got a box of 10, and there are five figures. Apparently they're all blind boxes, so I'm hoping I'll get two sets because I'd like to split it with a friend, but we're gonna see. Where do we start? The crystal cots are gonna be cool. I'm very excited about the Kaitai Fantasy. I have the previous set that wasn't pastel. I was gonna pass on this set, but then I saw purple Kudomi and I was like, oh, I have to have her, and then I found it kind of cheap. So I went ahead and got the full set. Anyway, enough talking, let's dive in. I really need to get a USB plug so we can turn the lights on here. I think that'll complete the look. Let's start with this set because it was on top and I have been holding on to this for quite a while now. I found it at the Sanrio outlet store for, uh, I don't even know how much off. It was discounted, it's a full set. It is a Japanese festival, no not festival, Dagashi, which is like, I guess now it'd be considered retro candy shop and it's gonna be a lot of fun treats. So. The box can be used as a diorama or background. Probably shouldn't have just ripped it. I think it's okay. It should look something like that. First one is Pom Pom Pudding. This is a little yogurt cup. I don't even know if there's real dairy in this considering it's not refrigerated. There actually is a Dagashia in my mall. I should go and try to find all these candies so we can see the real things. Like I said, Pom Pom Pudding is a little yogurt cup and look how tiny they are. They're adorable and they're gonna look cute as a set, but I couldn't justify these for full price. As much as I love miniatures, and I know they put a lot of detail into them, I always feel like the bigger figures are better value when that's not necessarily true. What do you guys think? Here's the second one, it's Pochako. Original price is 990 yen, which is pretty standard, I feel like, for like Disney Store and Sanrio shop blind boxes, so I don't know. Do you think this small figure is worth 990 yen? Anyway, Pochako's sitting on, uh, they're basically M&Ms. They call them like marble chocolates here, and they sell them in cute shapes like this, and they're in like a blister with foil, so you pop them out, kind of like pills. I used to eat these all the time. I don't remember how much they cost, but there was like a figure eight, the infinity sign, one that I really liked. Number three. Oh, it's, oh, Hello Kitty. I was gonna say my melody. This one's cool. It's a shaker. Oh, and there's a sticker to seal the lid on. I wonder if it comes off. I'm gonna guess not. I don't wanna take the sticker off. These are probably like lamune, just like sugary. I would call them mint, but they're probably not minty. But you'd call those mints, right? Just like the little sugar tablets. Probably very crunchy. We're gonna zoom through these because we have so many things to open today, which is quite exciting. I actually have more Sanrio blind bags and blind boxes, enough to do another video, so if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment saying that you like Sanrio videos. And I'll do more. Han Yodong. Here he is. They just look like beads, but I think they're supposed to be ramen. They're gonna look so cute lined up. This is the halfway point. See, this has eight in a box, but if you buy, you know, the sealed box, it's a full set, which is pretty common here. So I'm very, very curious about the crystal cots. Like, what if we get 10 pochakos? Do we have any Ghibli fans? This is the Takishi Dosam, a roly poly penguin who loves to eat. Am I Tuxedo Sam? I ask if there are any Ghibli fans because this, well not this, but the Sakuma drops come up in Grave of the Fireflies? Graveyard? Grave? I don't know the English title. Obviously not with a little Tuxedo Sam on top. Three more to go. My favorites. 
Kudomi with a ramune bottle. She's adorable. And the bottle says Kudomi. Have all of you had ramune before? This bottle has a bead in it that seals it. And it's really cool. It can be hard to drink though if you don't know how. Did you know that the word ramune comes from the word lemonade? It definitely doesn't taste like lemonade. Maybe it used to? Oh, my melody. Okay, so these, I don't know what these are made out of. I haven't had them in years. There are these little plastic packets with, they're not gummies. Honestly, it's probably like cornstarch and sugar. There's these little chewy tablets, but like soft chewy, not like vitamin chewy, you know? Does that make sense? I remember them being about 30 yen a pack. I don't know how much they are now. I used to get them when I was little. I think I will try to go to the candy store and buy as many of these items that I can because they're not expensive. A traditional dagashia is super duper cheap. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Real candies versus Sanrio candies. Last one, this should be cinema roll. These are so cute. I don't know, 900 yen worthy? I did get those Disney ones for 900 yen, but I was very invested in that set. The last one is Shinamororu. This is a very retro looking glass bottle. This looks like melon soda. I would get like ginger ale or something in this, I feel like. Can I line them up here? There, you can kind of see them. Let's open this set next. It's the Pac-Man Sanrio figure set. They're tiny. I've opened a few of these in my magical blind box and I got a few random ones, but then I found a set very cheap on Amazon. It was like half off, I think. I think they're just getting rid of stock, honestly. So this should be a full set. Is that not adorable? Little Pom Pom Pudding Ghost. I love that his eyes or you know, face and his hat, they're like a dark blue to match the ghost. We'll just zoom through these as well. I think this is gonna look really cute displayed, you know, just tucked away somewhere. Oh, we have another ghost. Here is the My Melody Ghost. I love that, whoa. I love that the Sanrio characters are the hats. That's cute. It's such a soft color too. I hope you've gotten used to the doggy tippy tappies. If you want to see more Sam, become a member please. It helps me out a lot and I post special vlogs. We're getting all the ghosts. Here's Pochako. I really like this one. I'm so glad Pochako's getting more love lately. One of my friends was saying that Keropi's not getting enough love lately. I agree. There should be another ghost and then two Pac-Men. Pac-Men. Pac-Man and Pac-Woman. Pack, pack them. Pack bathe. Oh, here it is. Oh, and it comes with a little stand. It's Hello Kitty Pac-Man. Pac-Man, I don't know why I couldn't say it, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, pac I'll just say it with a Japanese pronunciation. Oh, that's cute. Oh, we still need Hello Kitty. Oh wait, one's Pac-Man Hello Kitty and one's Pac-Man Dear Daniel. That's cute. They included Daniel. Hello Kitty's boyfriend. Oh, yep, look at his hair. He has the Dear Daniel hair. I feel like I need more little shelves and ledges in my studio here just to like place these little sets. I have so many gotcha sets. Gotta figure out how to display my smaller figures and not have it look too cluttered, you know? I will say the, the jar solution is very good. Last one of these should be Hello Kitty. If it's not, I will be very surprised. We're just destroying boxes today. It's pink! Um, that is the cutest thing in the world. Usually Hello Kitty is not my favorite when it's like an assortment of Sanrio characters, like the all-stars. This one is adorable. I think it's the color combo. We are down to the last two sets. Should we do the Kaitai Fantasy first or the Crystal Cots? Let's go from the top. Also, we should just leave the blind boxes to last, right? I didn't realize that these were sold as blind boxes. I thought these were confirmed. These are by Bandai Namco. It's called Kaitai Fantasy. It's called Fancy Purple Mix. I think the set I already have is Bandai Namco too. I know Kid Robot did a skeleton set and of course Mighty Jacks. They do some really cool ones. But this is the Japanese version. There's a little tag you can cut out if you want, I guess. 
Oh, first one Kunami. Whoa, that is a lot of plastic. I guess they kind of use it as padding too. Here are the parts, let's put it together. Let's see if I can do this right. I think this comes off, whoa, okay. First, we'll put her brain in. No thoughts, brain empty. Then we'll put her skull in there. That is a cool looking skull. And then she has a little tiny pearlescent skull that I think is supposed to be her heart. I put it in here. Let me fit this in. There are her innards. Here are her legs. Next we have her rib cage. Let's see, how does this go? I don't remember there being this many parts, but I haven't put them together in a while, so don't know. Got her arms on. Let's put half of her face back on. These are so cool. And the other half of her body. There she is. Beauty and grace. Let's stand her up here. I love these. You can't see her eye as well, but still cool, right? For ages 15 and up. Makes sense. There's a lot of tiny parts. This packaging is really nice too. I always like to appreciate the design and the packaging because I know most times they usually ah, gets thrown away. I do try to use mine for journaling and stuff. Oh, oh, we have Cinemoral. Look at his ears. Oh, this one's gonna be cool. I'm trying to remember what characters I had from the previous set. I know there was a Kuromi, my Melody, I think a Pom Pom Pudding. And was it a Hello Kitty? I can't remember. I didn't really look at Kuromi's, but there's cinnamon rolls on Cinnamon's brain. Not surprising. A little cinnamon roll heart. It doesn't really fit in his intestines. <laughs> I feel like it makes more sense to go in the brain because he's thinking about cinnamon rolls. Also more room. Oh my goodness, look at his skull. Look at the starry eye, I love that. Okay, let's do his arms first. I don't know which arm is which, I think it's this one. My nails are too long. Um, I think like this. Look at the stars. Actually, the rib cage probably should have gone on first. Don't know if it really matters. There he is. Let's put his face on. Cute little puppy. And tiny body. Get on there. Oh, this one's cool. I like this one. This one feels light. Terrible. Oh, that is a cat skull. I don't remember these being mega expensive. Part of me wants to say they were less than a thousand yen each, which if this is a thousand yen, I'll look up the price. I could be totally off. And this is, a, not this one, and this is a thousand yen. I don't know, I feel like, you know, this feels expensive. Hello Kitty has apples on her mind. I love that it's purple. Actually, the apple probably could have gone in her tummy. And then we have her skull. I love this. Her little upside down heart nose. These are a little bit finicky to put together, but not horrible. Let's put her rib cage on first this time. Her legs. Oh, she has hearts. Oh, I guess Kuromi's diamond? I don't know. Tiny hands. Honestly, it would be cool to display them like this too without putting their faces on because it's obvious who they are. But for today's sake, and actually I will display them like this, we will put their flesh back on. There we go, Hello Kitty. Last Kaitai Fantasy should be my melody. I love the color scheme. The blue for cinema roll is so pretty. And of course, of course, purple for Kuromi. Yeah, I don't know the correct way of opening this. That's good enough. Here she is, my Melody. These are a nice size. Let's take her head off. 
off with her head. My Melody has a little pearlescent strawberry. I guess my Melody likes strawberries. Into the brain. Her brain is well defined. And are these strawberries? I don't know what these are. Her innards. The skulls are so cool. It'd be fun to decorate them actually, to paint them. Her rib cage fell out. Oh, she has hearts too. I don't know if Kuromi's are diamonds. Why doesn't Kuromi get a cute eye? Why is there just, hmm. There we go. My Melody skeleton complete. Snap her face back on. And her body. Ta-da! Adorable. You stand next to Hello Kitty. Cuties. Cinnamon Roll's ears are so big. Okay, alrighty, it's time. I have all 10 here, but I did make sure I kept the one, two, three, four, five from the left side of the box, front to back, and then um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right side, front to back. So I'm gonna try opening them in order, and we're gonna hope for two sets. These just came out. They sell them for 380, 400 yen each at the supermarket. Comes with some chewing gum, which, you know what, I found is good because if they're not mega, mega popular, they have expiration dates, which means they get discounted. These are shaker charms, and I believe you fill them yourself. Oh, here's my melody. There's the lid, a little charm. It says it comes with character beads. And here are the beads. So technically, you could fill it with different beads. You can mix and match colors from different boxes. It gives you a lot of freedom. Let's do this one. So I was curious about the size of these because I saw them online first. For 400 yen, that is a decent figure. It's about the same size as the skeleton ones. Again, see what I mean? 400 yen, 900 yen. I, I get it, it's different, but I don't know. These just feel like better value. Anyway, it's hollow on the bottom. Let's put all of the beads in. Let's see if I can do all three colors at once. Ah! Bead down. Oh no, many beads down. I think I got all of them. It doesn't fill it very full, but you can always add more beads yourself. I guess that's what 400 yen gets you. Okay, I'm gonna put this in. Does it snap? Do I turn it? I'm gonna guess I turn it, hold on. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what, but it won't turn. I've put it in and the box, oh wait, there it turned. Uh, nope. I'm struggling with the locking it part. It says right here to turn it. It doesn't turn. I've even used, I've even slotted this in. It doesn't fit right now. So yeah, I'm a little confused. Let's do the others and see if it's me or if it's this one. Maybe 400 yen is 400 yen. Second one. Pochako. Ooh, these beads are pretty. Blue, yellow, and lighter blue. I wanna test this first, now I'm curious. Did I do something wrong? It snaps in, but I'm struggling with turning it. Maybe I need something stronger like a coin. Let me put the beads in and I'll go try to find a coin, I guess. We'll do one color at a time this time. I feel like I just don't know what I'm doing. So, sorry, I'm using my scissors. And look, I wedge it in, but it doesn't turn or lock in. Oh, I figured it out. I was doing it upside down. Who would have thought? Not me. Perfect. Sorry, I take like triple the time it takes normal people to figure things out. 
You know what? I thought there weren't many beads, but I think this is the perfect amount. It fills up the body, the face isn't weirdly discolored, and it's a nice shaker. This is where we start to see if they are in order or not. I see a purple bead. Kudomi! Red, purple, pink. Interesting combo. Here's the piece of gum, by the way. I am a challenger, also no patience. Um, never mind. This seems like a really bad idea. It's a bad idea, right? Only one casualty. I guess you could put the bead in there too if you wanted for like a little extra. It could be like the heart. Voila! There's good on me. I will say the size is great, the design's good, but it does feel like it's a little more cheaply made. So I understand the price points. I just like to complain about expensive figures. The question is, if I get my five out of the first five boxes, do I check and see if the rest are a set or do I let my friend figure out themselves? Cinema roll! Also, I love that they did the cinema roll with the, um, wasn't it the Miku collab? The ears tied up, it's adorable. I think I may be smart, maybe, maybe not. Oh, look at that, I am. See, I told you, it just takes me a few more attempts than Normal people. This one is adorable. It's the moment of truth. Is this pom pom pudding? Ah, sorry my melody. Everyone cross your fingers. Whoa, gum escape. It's pom pom. I'm gonna guess the remaining five are a set too. I kind of want to give them to my friend with good packaging. These are pretty colors. Red, orange, green. Do you guys want to learn Japanese? I could totally teach you like colors and numbers. Cinema only had four beads of each color. Pom Pom Pudding has a lot of beads. Oh. Pom Pom Pudding kind of reminds me of fried rice. Beauty. Well, I would say that was a lot of fun. I have a lot of trash on my desk now. Four different sets of Sanrio blind boxes. Which one did you like the best? I think mine have to be the Kaitai Fantasy, though the Dagashi. I really like the design. I'm glad I could purchase them on sale, though, and you guys know why. I've never been a huge collector of shaker charms, but the crystal caught charms are really good. Especially for 400 and some yen. Like, with the current exchange rate in dollars, that's like nothing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you'd like to see more Sanrio stuff and if there are any other characters that you'd like that you'd like me to feature. And I'll see you all next time.